Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a worth the buy or not nah review on the brand new products by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm so excited. First things first, I'm going to address the soft glam palette, which is right here. And then I want to talk about another very amazing product that I am so excited to talk about on my channel today. And that is the brand new Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Resi highlight. For her to come out with this beautiful highlight that literally represents her, like this is the most photogenic highlighter I've ever seen. Do you see this beautifulness? So if you guys want to continue watching and see my full thoughts on this brand new Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette and the um, Resi highlight, then please continue watching so you can find out if these products are worth the buy or not. So we're going to go ahead and take this beauty out of the box. And it looks like this. Soft Glam by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It comes with the brush right here and all the colors. I personally don't use this brush. It's not like my cup of tea, but I know a lot of people do like to use the brush. And to be honest, feeling it, it's not a bad brush. This is really fluffy, really good for blending out your eyeshadow. And then this is really good for packing on eyeshadow. So right away, you see the palette and the colors are absolutely stunning. It does kind of have a little bit of resemblance in a very, very subtle way to the modern Renaissance. The modern Renaissance I actually have right here. So I'm going to show you guys. It's more like purple pinkies and like more bright. As you can see, it's a, like a more bright type of palette for something that's a little bit more like out there, but still like some natural colors because they do have some natural colors on that side over there. Um, but then this one is definitely way, way more softer than the modern Renaissance. And you do have your few pops of color, which are really good for, you know, intensifying the look. Um, so I'm just really excited. So we're gonna use a mixture of colors. We're gonna use some mattes and some shimmers so that you guys can really see the pigmentation on some of these eyeshadows. I always feel like for me, I'd rather see shadows on the lids and see how they work as opposed to seeing swatches because swatches can be very misleading. Sometimes people can go in like 20 times and make them look perfect. So I'm first gonna be taking my Peach Pearl brushes and I'm gonna be taking the color Burnt Orange right here, which I feel like is a perfect transition shade for any type of look. There is a little bit of fallout when you tap the shadow, you see a little bit of kickback. Apparently this is the same formula as the Modern Renaissance, so I'm excited to see this perform on the eyes. I must say Anastasia Beverly Hills always does a really good job of making extremely pigmented eyeshadows. So I'm just gonna be taking it and just, wow, that is pigmented right away. Then I'm gonna be taking the color Sienna, which is next to Burnt Orange, and for your information, in case you guys are wondering, oh, Sienna really picked up. Um, these are already like previous shades in previous palettes, so they're not like new to um, the palette. As you can see, I'm diffusing it out softly, but it's still keeping that strong pigmentation. And then I'm going to be taking my favorite Delian Tools blending brush, and I'm just going to be diffusing out that color and we're just going to go in circular motions to really diffuse it out. I'm just taking this Sigma Pencil E30 brush and I'm going to be applying the shade Mulberry which is this much darker like orangey brown shade and we're just going to be placing that right where our crease is. I would say be light handed when you are um, tapping your brush into the shade because it is definitely going to give you a little bit of kickback. Um, I'm noticing that when I tap in, there's definitely some of that um, shadow that's kind of falling off. Okay, so I went ahead and cut my crease. I did that off camera because I always do it on here on my channel. If you guys watch my videos, you guys see me do it all the time. The reason why I do it in case you haven't watched my videos is because I feel like it enlarges my eyelids and not only that but I feel like it gives me a really really clean finish. Now as I went ahead and cut my crease I went to see if there was a really good like base shade that I could use and we have this color right here tempera so I'm going to go ahead and actually use it. I just feel like I saw like a little bit of shimmer but maybe I'm wrong. 
It has like a sheen. I wouldn't say it's actually shimmery. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the fun color. So on the lid, we're gonna do a gradual effect of three shades, um, and we're gonna try three different like shimmery shades and see how they work together if they're really pigmented and if we need matte fix plus that type of situation because i feel like that really matters i'm gonna go in with this color right here bronze and we're gonna start that off on this edge and like always i'm using a mac 242 brush the best brush to pack on lid color. Now I have to say with this shimmer shade I'm definitely having fallout so I'm gonna have to go back and clean my under eye but I'm not too worried about it because um, I haven't applied concealer. Whenever I do foundation first and then I go in with my shadows I don't apply concealer until after I'm done because I know I'm gonna have fallout so I just take a brush afterwards and kind of sweep it away. Whatever's still there I just leave it and put concealer on top and it looks just fine. So for the next color, I'm going to be taking this really pretty pink. It's called Rose Pink, and that is very pigmented. Be very careful with it because, like I mentioned, you do have some fallout. If you're too heavy-handed, it probably will just be a hot mess, so just be careful. I feel like the consistency of this Rose Pink color is a little bit more chunky than the bronze shade that we just used. I think I packed on a little too much on my brush, so that's why it looks a little bit chunky. So I would say with the shimmer shades, less is more and you can build it up. So the next shade we're going to use is Soul Tree. And the reason I'm picking this shade, these definitely do have a lot of pigmentation, so pick a little bit and just kind of tap it back and forth because you will get the pigmentation. And the reason I used Soul Tree at the end was because I wanted a color that would be similar to the color that I have in my crease and above my crease, so it kind of gives it like a gradient effect. I think Soul Tree is definitely a nice shimmery color as well. I feel like it would be perfect for like a glam night smoky eye. I feel like the least pigmented one is definitely rose pink. So I'm going to go back in and I'm just going to add a little bit of MAC Fix Plus and kind of fan it out for a second so it doesn't go in too wet. I think for this shade, the MAC Fix Plus definitely kind of made it a little bit brighter, but I still, I don't know, I'm not getting the full potential of it yet. Really loving how the matte shades blended. They blended like a dream. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is finish this eye and then I'll come back and give you guys more of my final thoughts on the Soft Glam Palette. Okay, so I finished off the look on this eye as well. And in case you're wondering for a lip, I used one of the Anastasia Minis in the shade Dazed. I really like this shade. I feel like it's so pretty, and I feel like it goes with the entire look. Now, I want to pop a little bit of something on my um, inner tear duct. So let me go ahead and do that. I think I'm going to use the shade Glistening. And the shade Glistening is this nice one right here. It's kind of like a champagne color that one is very pigmented glistening is super pigmented i feel like it could also be used as like a highlighter shade because it looks so pretty i also got the anastasia beverly hills um resi highlight and i am so excited the packaging on the outside looks beautiful so i'm gonna go ahead and apply this i'm gonna be using my anastasia beverly hills a23 brush and I'm just going to take a little bit of it. I feel like it doesn't need Mac Fix Plus because it looks so wet. Like it looks like a wet highlight. And this does retail for $28. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. I like how it's like, I don't even know how to describe it. It doesn't accentuate any of my texture. I feel like it's smooth. Like it's a smooth highlight. And it's not one of those highlights that's like, looks like, you know, really blinding, but like looks so obvious that you're wearing a lot of highlight. I feel like this is one of those highlights that looks like it's coming from within. Like it's the foundation or it's the radiance of your skin. Oh my God, that is so beautiful. I am living. Oh my God, I think this is my new highlighter of the year. Um, but this 
highlight is absolutely phenomenal i will be using this non-stop 20 dollars for this is a bomb ass price because highlighters can get really pricey so this is something that i'm loving okay so now that we have discussed our first impressions i'm going to go ahead and continue on with the rest of my day and then i will be back at the very end of the day and let you guys know how these shadows wore and if they were long wearing and all that good jazz but i think they look pretty good right now, so we shall have to wait and see how these last. Okay, so I am back. It has been quite a few hours since I last saw you guys. So first things first, um, I want to talk about the highlighter because the highlighter needs to be talked about first. Um, so you guys saw how much I was like impressed with the highlight. Automatically had this gorgeous, beautiful radiance on my skin, like the glow was popping. Now we can move on to the Soft Glam Palette. So the Soft Glam Palette, here are my thoughts. I think I have like a mixture of thoughts and especially after wearing it for a few hours, I feel like I have more thoughts. I feel like it's easy to say when you just wear something and you just give your first impression like, oh my God, this looks phenomenal. But when you truly put a palette or eyeshadows to the test for longevity, that's when you really see how it performs. So I'm basically just going to break it down with the pros and the cons of this palette in my opinion. So I first want to talk about the cons so that we can end on a happy note. Um, the cons for me are that I feel like some of these shimmer shades are just not as amazing as some other palettes that I have tried. Now I quickly want to say I feel like the shimmers on the pans they look amazing when you swatch them you get a lot of payoff right away i feel like in order for you to put it onto the lid you have to build it up on the finger it looks phenomenal and i think because when you use your finger you're kind of pressing harder than with a brush with a brush it's a lighter stroke um i felt like when i was looking back at the footage as i was editing the first part of this video for the shade bronze that we used i was like that doesn't look as pigmented on my lid as it did in the pan as I'm looking at it right now. And then I told you guys in the video that I felt like rose pink was also a chunky consistency and I felt like it took me a while to build it up. It wasn't until I used MAC Fix Plus and got it a little bit wet that I felt like I started to see that color payoff that I was truly looking for. I feel like with these colors, when I see them here on the pans, they just look so beautiful and so appealing to me that I'm like, oh my God, give it to me. And then when I put it on, I really have to pack it on. I don't know why, but I feel like Morphe's more recent palettes, like the 24G, the Jaclyn Hill palette, the um, 3502, man oh man those palettes the shimmery shades are on freaking fire like you barely need any type of like wetness on the brush or anything it's very rare that i reach for max plus when i'm using those palettes because they are just so pigmented and they are so affordable i don't know what they use in their shimmers but their shimmers are on freaking point and i feel like their shimmers are a little bit better than these shimmers in this palette and then I also noticed that especially that bronze shade that we're just talking about right now has a lot of transfer and I went and cut the crease. Usually when I cut the crease, it doesn't transfer whatsoever, but the transfer is all the way up here and I'm not liking that because I like when my eye looks look clean from start to finish. Um, so now I want to talk about the pros of this palette. Now the first pro that I want to talk about is I love the concept of this palette. I love the fact that you get a really good diversity in this palette and I feel like it's so wearable, especially for spring. It has that softness. It has those wearable everyday shades that you can just pair up whether you're going to work or whether you're going to like a day party or something where you just want a soft glam. I feel like it has that, but then it also offers those really nice intense colors for the evening when you want something to just pop on your eyes when you want to have full glam and i have to say the one thing that i am obsessed with in this palette are the matte shades the matte shades are so creamy so buttery they're so pigmented that when you apply them automatically you see the color payoff and i don't feel like there's a lot of fallout on these um matte shades i feel like when you tap it there's some tap back like it some of it like falls in the pan but once you apply it it doesn't really fall out like the shimmers do i feel like their black shade noir is always very consistent and it's always a really really good reliable black shade when you want to do something intense like a smoky eye so i would say overall it's a really well-rounded palette i would definitely say this is more for somebody 
who likes more of that natural look, who doesn't want anything that's too intense because like I mentioned, these colors are very buildable. So you're able to build it up and it's not gonna be one of those things where you're just learning, you're applying, you're like, oh my God, this is way too much for me. It's more like, okay, like I can build it, build it. Okay, that's enough, we're good to go. So I feel like that's the type of person who would really appreciate this palette. So if you guys enjoyed watching my video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you guys have any other requests for um, palette reviews, then please let me know. Just so you know, I do have the Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette tutorial slash review coming very, very soon. My order should be coming in this weekend, so I'm hoping that I can get that video live ASAP so that you guys can learn more info on that palette because I'm really excited about it as well. Um, but if there's any other palettes you guys want me to review or talk about, then please let me know. I can do a worth the buy or not review. And um, I think that's it. Oh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. I would love for you to join our family of makeup and fun. Um, and I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye, guys.